Okay, I think you understand the concept, so let's just go. Okay, we're back to pressing buttons again in part two of this hopefully not all too long series. And if you haven't seen the first part, then go check it out first because if you don't, you're missing out on something. We actually have only one more sapfish to go. So let me just find the level. Ah yes, it's actually one of my favorite levels. It's one of the tornado shuffles. I'm kind of surprised they didn't bring those back in Splatoon 2. But with the triple ink strike they'll probably bring it back in Splatoon 3. Which actually makes me pretty happy. I don't know why he's on this wall. Because I can't swim over it anyways, but... Yeah, you, you do your work, little buddy. Do your work. Ah, uh, What the hell was that? He just got me. And we're on to him. Please don't try to escape. I just wanna shoot you. And you have a terrible time. Can I just... No, I wanted, I wanted burst bombs. Burst bombs. Okay, I guess we're doing it the old fashioned way. And there's the Zapfish. On to the boss. You know, this is like the most scariest boss in the whole entire game. This boss is so scary. It actually isn't, but why is this the second boss? It's just stupid. Anyways. Also, it looks pretty stupid. Why does it look so stupid? There's probably a reason for all this algae on this boss. It's probably because it wasn't used in a while, because it's so useless. Also, do you have like sea stars? Are those are those some kind um are those some kind of ancient sea stars? Or do sea stars still look like this in the Splatoon universe? I don't know. And there's the final strike. Bam! Now he's dead. I really don't know who decided to make this the second boss. It would have been more fitting as the first boss or as no boss at all because, well, it's insultingly easy. Zapfish! <laughs> Shooting the sneeze. I'm pretty sure this octo thing did really just catch a cold. I know that somewhere here is a level. Yes. Okay, it's another it's another one of these. You know what I've noticed? I've completely ignored the secret scroll in the last level. Well, let's at least try to find it here. I'm pretty sure it's up there, isn't it? I mean, why else should there be this this was all for an armor. Okay. But I'm really like going on a secret scroll hunt even though I don't need them. But I kinda wanna get them. This is not the secret scroll. I think the secret scroll was actually up in one of these things, just like in the enemy base. There we go. Don't let him catch you. Let's use our bubbler here. It'll come in handy. I forgot to turn into a squid. That's... Kind of... I did it again. There's one of these US UFOs that they use. It's pretty cool. I like this detail. And there's the secret scroll. Right next to the UFO. Oh no! Oh, I did it again! I'm always forgetting to turn into a squid. Oh no, do you have to? Oh no, you don't. Don't forget to turn into a squid. And there we have it. Oh, um, the Wii U gamepad has low battery. 
Ah, oh, do I really have to charge the gamepad now? A few moments later. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit hard. Now the gamepad is on a wire and I'm on a wire since I'm wired to my computer with my headset and so on. Ah. Uh, it's gonna be a pain. And that's all just because I forgot to charge the gamepad. Great! Hey look, it's an upside down train. Look, it's another one. Why do all these trains have like these things to suck electricity, but then don't have any catenary? It's also like this in Snapper Canal. This triggers me, Nintendo, you're always forgetting the catenary. How are those trains supposed to drive? Oh, I fell down. Also, why does the railing stop at some points? This is dangerous. Ontarians are stupid. Train crossing? There's no train crossing here. There's just some magical trains that magically move because they shouldn't be able to move. How did he not see me? How? I'm really just asking how. That's some creative use of ink rails. Why don't we see something like this in Splatoon 2? Also don't think I don't see that. I know where the secret scroll is. Imagine like this going down and then crushing the inkling. That's, that's a really creative trap. Octarians, if you wanna hire me, I'm I'm up for it. If I get if I get the same I get when I do Grisco's work, then I, I'm gladly taking the job. How am I missing all of these? How am I missing? Another Inksuka. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that for later. And with later I mean now, because this is the final checkpoint. What is that music? Isn't that the same music from the tower in Splatoon 2? From tower defense? Isn't that the same music? Damn. Why is it the same music? Okay, but this is very creative since it basically is the same in Splatoon 2. The same. Wow. And then I don't even make it up there. Uh, why? Just why? I, want, I wanted to rescue this appfish with an Inksuka. What is so wrong about that? This level is called the Flutter Junkyard, but I really don't know what's the junk in here. Maybe the Flutters themselves, but they don't seem like they're junk. They seem like they're perfectly fine. Oh, that's why it's the Junkyard. There's a Flutter in here that is straight up just junk. What am I doing here? Oh, uh, how do I get down there? That's how I get down there. Nice. Imagine how bad the life of these Octarians is. They have to hang out in a junkyard the whole day. Because, just because their leader has stolen a giant fish of electricity. This is already for the final checkpoint. The keys held by an Octarian. And we can look at the map on the game play, uh, gamepad to find it. Nice. That actually went by pretty fast. Oh god. Ah! You could jump so high out of these ink rails. I think like Splatoon 3 needs to introduce like some of the old ink rails. Like the OG ink rails. So that um, they, they can have like the new ink rails and the old ink rails. And then, like, make it so that the old ink rails can jump higher. And then use them for Splatfest stages or something. 
I mean, how cool would that be? I think even she can comprehend the invisible platforms. Or at least I saw her acute dropping by... 500%! Uh, why did I just ran straight into that autobomb? I don't know how they're actually called, but they're pretty similar to autobombs. So... Hello! That one... That one did suicide again. That... That one did suicide too! What do all these Octarians have with suicide? Uh, where do I have to continue? Where? There! There it is! <laughs> Nintendo, you can't just be spawning in a random enemy that is this thick on like this thin platform. That's just... Just messed... That's just messed up. No! Ah! Oh! Why do all these enemies get a surprise attack on me? Hello! Oh! Wow! I died! That was because of my own stupidity. I shouldn't have died there. No! Don't make me die again. I don't wanna die again. Okay. Now I got it. There are more of them! Seriously? <laughs> I almost jumped down here. That could have been... That could have been so bad. Okay. And how do I get up there? Oh. It's just a platform. Okay. Okay, let's power up our things. Let's get the hero shot better. And... I don't know. Let's... Purchase... Better splat bombs and better burst bombs. There, there is an Inkzuka here. But I haven't found the secret scroll yet. That's not where I wanted to go. Anyways. Oh, I think I... Ah, I got hair in my mouth. I think the secret scroll is like up here. No, the secret scroll is not here. And where is it? Is the secret scroll here? Yes, there it is, I think. Oh yes, thank you. Also, you know, like, all black belly looks... All black belly looks weird. All black belly is really weird. Now onto the final level of today, the boss level. And after that, I don't know, after that I'm gonna play some ranked or something. And I'd say that's a perfect final level for today. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And until next time, goodbye.